Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So today's recipe is going to be another vegetarian dish. I'm going to be showing you how to make vegetarian kebabs. They are super easy to make, really delicious. The preparation time is about 20 minutes, just because we have to pre-cook the vegetables. Then we're going to cut them with a delicious dressing that we're going to make. And then we're going to finally bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes. So the total time is going to be about 30 to 35 minutes. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. We need one red bell pepper, one yellow bell pepper, one onion, one Idaho potato or three small potatoes, two ears of yellow corn, two medium zucchini, two small carrots, and if you like you can also use mushrooms. For the dressing we need four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of each dry oregano and black pepper. We also need half a teaspoon of each garlic powder, basil, rosemary leaves, thyme, and a pinch of salt. We also need wooden skewers. Let's get started. Soak the wooden skewers in water for about 20 minutes before using them. This will prevent them from catching on fire. I'm going to bring about 10 cups of water to a boil. While the water is ready, I'm going to make the dressing. Combine the olive oil, apple cider vinegar, mustard, oregano, black pepper, garlic powder, basil, rosemary leaves, and thyme. Also add in a pinch of salt and stir everything together until well combined. Set aside until you're ready to use it. Now I'm going to be working with the vegetables. I already washed them and now I'm going to slice them. I peel off the carrots but you don't have to do it. And now I'm going to slice them in thick slices. I'll try to slice all the vegetables the same size. I don't want my vegetables to be really thin, so I made them about one and a half to two inches thick. But the size and thickness depends on you, so make the vegetables any size you want. So keep on slicing the vegetables and remember, try to keep them in the same size. This will allow them to have an even cooking time. They don't have to be exactly the same, but try to keep them in the same range. So I slice the carrots and the zucchini. I cut the Idaho potato in half lengthwise and then cut each half in half again and then cut it in quarters. I also sliced the corn in six slices. Once the water is boiling, I'm going to cook the corn and the potatoes for about eight minutes. I want the potatoes and the corn to become soft, but I don't want them to fall apart. If you want, you can also add in the zucchini and the carrots. I prefer to boil them in separate batches, just because I don't want to overcook the vegetables. But you can cook everything together if you want. Or if you prefer, you can cook them in different pans too. To speed up the cooking process, you really need the water to be boiling. So don't add the vegetables until the water is boiling. While the vegetables cook, I'm going to chop the rest of the ingredients. Chop the onion in big chunks. I cut it in half, then each half in quarters. Remove the stem and the veins from the bell peppers. And also cut each bell pepper in large pieces. Set them aside for a moment. So the potatoes and the corn have been cooking for about seven minutes in boiling water. The potatoes are ready. They are soft, so I'm going to remove them from the water. I will leave the corn in there for a few more minutes and I will also bring in the zucchini and the carrots. Cover with a lid and continue to cook for about 6 minutes or until the carrots and the zucchini become soft, but not too soft. So the zucchini and the rest of the vegetables were done in 6 minutes. Now I'm going to cut them with the dressing we made earlier. I have the onions in a small container and the bell peppers in another container. The carrots and the zucchini are together in the same container and the corn and the potatoes are in another container. If you want, you can keep all the vegetables together. I keep them in different containers because it's easier for me to build the kebabs this way. But you can keep them all together if you want. 
Add one tablespoon of the dressing to the onions and also add one tablespoon of the dressing to the bell peppers. Mix well until the onions and the bell peppers are well coated with the dressing. Set aside for a minute. Add one and a half tablespoons of the dressing mixture to the corn and the potatoes and make sure to coat every single piece with this dressing. You can use your hands or you can use a brush if you want. Just make sure to really get the dressing all over the vegetables. Add the rest of the dressing to the carrots and the zucchini and also cut well. And that's about it. You're ready to build the kebabs. Alternate the vegetables onto the skewers and keep on alternating them until you're done. This will make about 12 kebabs. I'm only using one ear of yellow corn, so I only made 6 kebabs. But the vegetables are enough to make about 12 kebabs. And that's about it. We're going to bake this for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the onions and the bell peppers become a little soft. And that's it. Enjoy! I really hope you like this video. To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!